25,600 minutes 525,000 moments, oh dear 525,600 minutes How do you measure, measure a year? In daylights, in sunsets, in midnights, in cups of coffee In inches, in miles, in laughter, in strife I grew up with my grandmother, so um, I've always wanted to take care of people, um, especially the elderly. It's been my, I would never leave geriatrics, I don't believe. Um, my grandmother instilled in me that you give compassion to everyone, and the people that need it the most are usually the elderly that have become more frail. She loves old people. She just likes their personality and how they are. I love now that I've come back to school. It's something that I really needed to do years ago and never had the opportunity. And um, that is one thing that's great with American Seniors that they came to me and it was just a blessing and it was something I've always wanted to do and probably never would have been able to financially done for myself. And I am very, very thankful. As one of my students, uh, Nancy is one that I believe would make a very good nurse. And I would encourage her, once she has acquired her LPN license, I would encourage her to continue further. And my children are just, you know, they, they think it's great to do homework with me and to say, oh, mommy's going to take care of people. And that makes me feel so good. Well, I think it's happy because she gets paid a little lot, but I barely get to see her. And it's kind of depressing. Nancy still makes time for the kids, sets special time aside to do things with them so they don't feel that she's, that the school is more important to her than they are. Knowing that the financial burden's not there, that I can do my dream is just great. I'm proud of her because she's going to become a great nurse and help a lot of people. I'm not a fast learner, like other can just get it. So what I do, I take notes a lot. When the teacher is talking, I take notes a lot. And then when I come home, I review. I have to put a lot of time studying. Even here, I come to work, my break time, I sit and read my books. I know that she has a family and that she works very hard. And uh, that coupled with the fact that English is not her native language. I have a hard time uh, understanding deeper English. Paying for an education is a great deal of stress. And it also, the financial difficulties uh, require a person to, to sometimes to quit classes and then life happens and they never come back. I get up early and stay up late at night to study my lesson and all my homework. But, you know, you have to sacrifice something so you can succeed and reach your dream. She's had to sacrifice her uh, time with her children, especially. Um, my wife misses them a lot. When my mom picks me up and, and I go to her work, uh, the people be nice to me and my mom. I uh, help them walk, take her to the bathroom. I believe any time a person has an opportunity to grow and, and get an education, it's worth it. I'm very proud, especially at the end of the class. I make it through, I have a good grades then I'm very, very proud of myself. And I said, see, I get it. So, I know, I know, I'm so proud. I'm proud. best proud of my mom. It means a lot. I mean, just the fact that somebody's given me this opportunity. Um, it's not even paying, it's not even for them paying for, the, for me to become a nurse. It's that I was chosen to have this opportunity to not only better myself, but my, my daughter's life and to help people. When she told me first about applying for the program and this was the first time and they're going to accept so many people, she was just like really nervous, I want to get it, I want to get it, but once she got it she was like, yes, this is, my, this is my key to happiness. I have times where I just, enough is enough, I'm done, I don't want to do it no more, and I look at her and she just, mommy, you got to do this, mommy, you got to do this, and it's like, okay, yeah. She's my inspiration, definitely my inspiration. They can tell me what the body parts are. She's 
really supportive. That's like my, even though she's six, she's my strongest support system. She's always, mommy do your homework. Um, I read my anatomy books to her. So she's really into it and she's really proud of me and she tells me that all the time. She really don't have no time for herself or fun or anything right now. It's all work, school, and family. I will have time for fun when I'm finished. Right now my focus is to get my nursing license, get my career started, and then I'll have fun then. And the ONE program helps with education and any upfront fees and really lessens the stress of the student and I think it's a wonderful program. I don't think honestly a lot of people would be able to go on with their education if the ONE program wasn't offered. I can do it. I want to be a nurse. I'm so excited. 525,600 minutes 525,000 journeys to play 525,600 minutes How do you measure the life of a woman or a man? I've been out of school for 28 years, so trying to get back into the study habit and taking the test, that was probably the hardest. Lori sets a great example. Being there, participating, wanting to learn as much as possible, and being fully engaged means that she will get the most out of it that she can. I was really shocked when I found out that I had gotten chosen for the ONE program. I was, it took me like two weeks to realize that, oh my God, I was going back to nursing school. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for any CNA that wants to become a nurse because schooling is expensive and the time that you put into it, you really can't work as many hours. So if you have someone who is willing to pay for your entire schooling, you should take advantage of it. It makes me feel great that I'm going to be able to reach my goal, you know, and not have to worry about the financial burden once I get out of school. Um, it's like the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, and American Senior Communities has made that happen. I know Lori could not, or would not have probably ever been able to do this without her work paying for her education. It's been truly a gift from God. It hasn't been easy. She's done a lot for our family and just continuing to, and I'm very proud of her. At first I didn't know if I had what it took, but once I get going, I, I know I can do it. I made the honor roll, uh, I'm making the grades, so I'm very proud of myself. So the ONE program really put things in perspective and I thought, well, you know, this is a perfect opportunity for me to go for what I've always wanted to do. Shannon will be an amazing nurse. She loves what she does. Um, she puts other people's needs above her own and she just loves helping people. I think the program at American Senior Communities is a wonderful program. What I have seen um, in working with other students besides Shannon that are in this program is that the liaison that is working with these students is wonderful, um, very upbeat and uplifting, even in situations that are stressful, if, if a problem at home or a death in the family, and um, that's so important. I keep in contact with the um, the coordinator for the ONE program on a weekly basis, sometimes more if I feel like I need to talk to her. But she's been a um, great inspiration. She always has nice things to say. She tries to um, give us like chores and stuff that we can do around the house to help her out. I don't mind doing them for my mom because she does a lot of stuff for us. I do believe that it's given, um, put a positive impact on my girls just because <clears throat> they see me studying and I'm striving for something that I've really wanted for a long time. My mom will be a good nurse because she's caring and helping and she does good in school and she likes to help people out. Well, she's making that sacrifice. I don't think she has very much time. Uh, she's here even on Saturday, uh, which she normally, before this uh, school program, uh, you know, that was the day that she was, would be off. I haven't had any time for fun yet, you know, but that time will be coming. You know, most of my weekends um, with the girls are do all-star cheerleading. We are traveling on the weekends. So I have my books and I have my 
note cards and I'm studying when I'm with them. That, I guess, that is my fun when I'm with them and when watching them do what they love. It's time now to sing out, though the story never ends. Let's celebrate, remember, a year in the life of friends. And I wanted to let you know that you've been accepted into the 1-2 program. Oh. And that we are just Ooh. pleased to have you a part of that, and okay. I hope you are too. So yes, I am so happy. I am so happy. Guess what you were selected for? The scholarship? You were selected for the scholarship program to represent Beach Grove. Yeah. Are you excited? I am very excited. <laughs> yeah. It's been a year, like, I, when I first started here, um, uh -huh. I was a little too late for the program, but I was like, next year, you know, I'm definitely uh -huh. going to apply for it. So. You ready? Big news. You've been accepted to the LPM program. <laughs> oh, that's great. Woohoo! That's great. This hat. I know you are. That's okay. It's all right. Let's get your Kleenex.